maps to help us get to where we need to go. They make the world more understandable. And this early desire to document the world, to navigate it, has been with us since the dawn of civilization. This is the first map we know of. It's believed to be from around 600 BC. We've been on a mapping journey for over 2,600 years. It's one of humankind's driving forces. And even after all that time, the job isn't done. At first, progress was slow. Latitude and longitude came along 800 years after the tablet. A thousand years after that, the Chinese invented the magnetic needle. A burst of mapping activity in the 15th century expanded the boundaries of the documented world. New technology meant even more rapid progress. The marine chronometer opened up distant horizons, further accelerating the age of discovery. During the mid-1800s, the first aerial imagery was taken from hot air balloons. The 20th century saw exponential progress. In the 1950s, the first computer-generated map. Satellite mapping in the 70s. The advent of GPS in the 80s. Fast forward to 2005, when Google joined this ancient story with our first local search index an attempt to build a catalog of where businesses were in the real world. Clearly the moment was here. We would soon have a useful and meaningful map of the whole world. Turns out it was a lot harder than we thought. We learned that the world is very dynamic and data quickly becomes stale. If we were ever going to succeed in having a meaningful map of the whole world, we needed a new approach. New in-house mapping techniques were developed by combining as many data inputs as possible and tightly coupling them with visualizations built on our street view, satellite, and aerial imagery assets. We were able to use humans to quickly map dozens of countries. We were helping millions of people every day, but the map of the world was still incomplete. The last three years have gotten us closer than the previous 20. Deep neural nets have rapidly accelerated our ability to produce map data directly from imagery. Machine learning also helped us guard against spam and abuse, extract information from the web, and to make our operations more efficient, bringing maps to more than a billion people. For the first time in this 3,000-year mapping journey, the completion of this task is within our sights. Ours is the generation that will deliver a useful map of the world everywhere people live and work. This new map is changing the way we travel, how we respond to crisis. It will power virtual assistants and augmented reality experiences. This new map, like the first maps, will change the world. The funny thing, even though it's been nearly three millennia, with this new map, you'll be able to hold it in the palm of your hand, just like the Babylonians once did.